Hello everyone, this is Lynn and me. This time we're going to take up the lessons in quarter one, week four, and it covers the geometric mean. And what are geometric mean? These are the terms between two given terms of a geometric sequence. Example, given the sequence 10, 20, 40, 20 is the geometric mean between 10 and 40. And given 32, 8 to 1 half, 1 8, the geometric mean between 32 and 1 8 are 8, 2, and 1 half. Let us have an example. Find the geometric mean between 9 and 36. So given the two numbers, 9 and 36, we are going to find the geometric mean between these two numbers. And 9 is our first term, or a sub 1, and 36 is our a sub 3. Therefore, we're going to look for a sub 2, which is the geometric mean between 9 and 36. How? We are going to use our formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. And that is the same as a sub 3 is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to 3 minus 1. And the value of a sub 3 is 36. And our a sub 1 is 9 multiplied by r raised to 3 minus 1. Then, we are going to simplify first 3 minus 1. That's why we have here 2 as the exponent. The next step is, we are going to divide both sides of the given equation by 9 so that we can eliminate the numerical coefficient of r squared. And simplifying 36 over 9, that is equal to 4 is equal to r squared. And that is also the same as r squared is equal to 4. And how are we going to remove the 2 here which is the exponent of r? We are going to extract square root both sides of the equation. So therefore, the square root of r squared and the square root of 4 is equal to r is equal to positive and negative 2. So this time, we're not going to find the geometric mean between 9 and 36 using the value of r which is equal to positive and negative 2. So if r is equal to positive 2, given the sequence 9 blank 36, we are going to use the value of r that is, we're going to multiply that to our given first term. Our first term is 9, multiplying that by our common ratio which is 2, then gives you the second term, which is 18. Now, let's check if we multiply this 18 by 2 will give us 36. So, what is 18 times 2? Is that equal to 36? Yes. So, therefore, 18 is the positive geometric mean between 9 and 36. How about if r is equal to negative 2? Again, we have our sequence 9 blank 36. So, we're going to look for the second term, which is the geometric mean between 9 and 36 by multiplying the first term, which is 9, by our common ratio, which is negative 2. So, 9 times negative 2, that is equal to negative 18. And then, let's check that. Is negative 18 multiplied by negative 2 equals to 36? Yes. So, therefore, negative 18 is the negative geometric mean between 9 and 36. Let us find the geometric mean between 9 and 36 using this formula. GM or geometric mean is equal to positive and negative square root of A times P, where A here is the first given number and P is the second given number. So this is now equal to GM or geometric mean is equal to positive and negative 9 times 36. And what is 9 times 36? That is equal to 324. And what is the square root of 324? That is equal to positive and negative 18. So therefore, the geometric mean between 9 and 36 are 18 and negative 18. Another example, insert two geometric mean between 3 and 192. So we have given two numbers again, 3 and 1. 92, and we are going to insert two geometric mean between these two numbers. And in our sequence, 3 is our first term, and 192 is our last term or a sub 4. 
So we're going to look for a sub 2 and a sub 3, which are the geometric mean between 3 and 192. How? We are going to use the formula again. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. And what's the value of a sub n? That is 192. And a sub 1, that is equal to 3, then multiplied by r raised to 4 minus 1. Why 4? That's the value of n. And then, let's simplify the exponent 4 minus 1, that's equal to 3. Then, next step, divide both sides of the equation by 3 so that we can eliminate the numerical coefficient of r cubed. Then, simplify the left side of the equation. 192 divided by 3, that is equal to 64. And then, that's equal to r cubed. Or that is the same as r cubed is equal to 64. Then, to eliminate our exponent here, which is 3, we are going to extract the cube root, both sides of the equation. And then the cube root of r cubed and the cube root of 64, that is equal to r is equal to 4. So this time, we're going to find now the geometric mean between 3 and 192. And that is, we're going to use the value of r, which is equal to 4. How? We are going to multiply our first term by our given ratio, which is 4, to get the second term. So what is 3 times 4? That is equal to 12. And then to get again the next term, we multiply the second term, which is 12, by the common ratio, which is 4. And 12 times 4, that is equal to 48. Now, if we multiply 48 by 4, is that equal to 192? Yes. So, therefore, we have 12 and 48 as the geometric mean of 3 and 192. Example 3. Insert 3 geometric mean between 6 and 96. So, given these two numbers, we're going to insert 3 terms which are the geometric mean between 6 and 96. In this sequence, 6 is our first term and 96 is our last term or a sub 5. So, we're going to look for a sub 2 or the second term, a sub 3, the third term, and a sub 4, the fourth term. How? That is, we're going to use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. And what's the value of a sub n or the last term in the given sequence? That is 96. And what is a sub 1? That is 6. And then what is the r? Still, it's r because we don't know yet the common ratio. And then what's the value of n in the given sequence? That is 5. Then minus 1. Next step is you are going to subtract 5 minus 1. So we arrive here 4 as the exponent. After this, you are going to divide both sides of the equation so that you can eliminate the numerical coefficient of r raised to 4. And then simplify 96 divided by 6, that is equal to 16, is equal to r raised to 4. This is the same as r raised to 4 is equal to 16. And how are we going to solve for r? How are we going to eliminate the exponent here? That is, we are going to find the fourth root of r raised to 4 and at the same time the fourth root of 16 so that we can eliminate the exponent of r. So this is now equal to r is equal to positive and negative 2. Since you have already found the value of r, which is the common ratio of the sequence, we can now compute for the geometric mean between 6 and 96. Using r is equal to positive and negative 2. Now, if r is equal to 2, to find the second term, we are going to multiply the first term times the common ratio. And our second term is equal to 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So that is our second term. To solve for the third term, we are now going to use the second term also times the value of r. And that is equal to 12 times 2, which is equal to 24. So that is the value of a sub 3. And then to solve for the a sub 4 or the fourth term, we are going to multiply the third term 
by the common ratio, which is 24 times 2 is equal to 48. So the fourth term is 48. So if R is equal to 2, our sequence is 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Now what if R is equal to negative 2? That is, we're going to solve first the second term by multiplying our first term by the common ratio. So our second term is 6 multiplied by negative 2 is equal to negative 12. And negative 12 will be our second term. Then to find the third term, we're going to multiply the second term again by the common ratio. And then therefore, our third term is negative 12 multiplied by negative 2 is equal to 24. So 24 is our third term. And then to find the fourth term, we're going to multiply the third term by the common ratio. And that is equal to 24 multiplied by negative 2. That is equal to negative 48. So our fourth term is negative 48. So when r is equal to negative 2, our sequence will be 6, negative 12, 24, negative 48, 96. So if r is equal to positive 2, our sequence will be 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. And if r is equal to negative 2, that will be 6, negative 12, 24, negative 48, 96. Here is another way of finding the geometric mean between 6 and 96. That is, we're going to use the formula the square root of a times b, where a is the first given number and b is the second number. From this, we can be able to find the third term or the middlemost term of the given sequence. Now, on our example, our first given number is 6 and our last number is 96. So, we will be having now the square root of 6 times 96. And that is equivalent to the square root of 576. And the square root of 576 is 24. So, this is our third term. Now, let's proceed to the second term, which is the geometric mean between 6 and 24. So using again our formula, the square root of a times b, our first given number is 6, and our second given number is 24. Multiplying 6 and 24, that is equivalent to 144. And what is the square root of 144? That is equivalent to 12. So our second term is 12. Now remember that on our first example, the... Geometric mean between these two given numbers is a positive and negative number. Now, let's have the fourth term, which is the geometric mean between 24 and 96. If you see again the formula, the square root of a times b, that is equivalent to the square root of 24 times 96. That is equivalent to the square root of 2304, and that is equivalent to... 48. And that is our fourth term. Now again, recalling again our first example, the geometric mean between these two given number is a positive and negative number. Therefore, our given sequence is 6, 12, 24, 48, 96. Now what do you think is the common ratio? That is, R is equal to 2. Why? Because 12 divided by 6, that is 2. Or 24 divided by 12, that is still 2. And the second set of sequence is 6, negative 12, 24, negative 48, 96. And what is ratio? That is, R is equal to negative 2. Why? Because negative 12 divided by 6, that is equivalent to negative 2. Or 24 divided by negative 12, that is still equal to negative 2.